Hey guys, it is Nick here with another Nick's Topics Dragon Ball What If Topic video for today. And today, we are getting into part 4 of my first Dragon Ball What If Topic on this channel. And that regards one of the weaker, kind of less important people of the show, Hercule. And what if he became a Z fighter in the early days of Dragon Ball and joined up with Goku and Bulma to find the Dragon Balls instead of going to the Satan Dojo. Well, it would impact a lot, and not just in the rounds of Hercule. It would also impact the other characters' strength and their behavior going forward. But on to the subject of Hercule, many of his trademark moves that he would use in the original, he would learn a lot sooner, perfecting them too, with the dynamite kick being perfected, along with the ruling Hercule Punch, and also almost completely perfecting his Ultra Megaton Punch. And, as an added bonus, from him training with Goku and fighting against Yamcha and other people, he picks up on Yamcha's trademark move, the Wolf Fang Fist, almost using it even better than Yamcha himself making Yamcha proud, but jealous at the same time. He would also develop a lifelong friendship with Goku, but considering the fact that he's younger than Hercule, it would... It's still a good relationship, it's just that um, one's older than the other, and stuff. <laughs> anyway... Um, to recap the last episode, in short terms, in order of importance, Hercule and Kid Goku, with their combined might, were able to defeat Mercenary Tao in the first fight, rather than Kid Goku having to come back a second time. But, be before the fight with Mercenary Tao, because of Bora's influence and also Upa bringing up the same fact, Hercule and Kid Goku still have one trial to do before they leave the Land of Korin and go off to the Red Ribbon Army Headquarters, Corrin's Tower. So the two of them climb the tower and come face to face with Master Corrin himself. Now, the only difference here with the whole training regiment and getting the sacred water, which would turn out to be normal tap water, which would be Hercule would be there along with Goku. Aside from that, though, as I said, the training regiment would be the exact same, aside from Hercule being there. And Corrin would be very impressed at these two's, at the two of these guys' commitment and friendship. And because of the training and the sacred water, Hercule, aside from Goku, as far as we know, is basically the strongest next to him. But we'll know later that, well, hero-wise, he's the strongest next to him. Aside from Tien, who would later become a hero. But I'm not going to spoil that right away. Anyway, we get on to Hercule, Goku, and everybody else going to the Red Ribbon Army headquarters. Ready to finish off the Red Ribbon Army once and for all. And a lot of stuff is going to happen here, which makes a lot of the story from the original different. For one thing, when we get to the fight with Colonel Violet and Yamcha, before they were basically evading each other, like in the original anime, and it was more or less an even fight. But with Hercule there, and more people inspired to train, including Yamcha himself, that means that Yamcha is a decent way stronger than he was in the original. So he would defeat Colonel Violet rather easily. Then we get to the fight with Kid Goku, Hercule, and General Black. And with Hercule's help, General Black is pushed into a corner a lot sooner, and that means that he is going to end up killing Commander Red also a lot sooner, too. Not by too, too much, but uh, a sort of decent amount of time. But then we get to the part which changes a lot. 
the fight when General Black pulls out his giant mech robot, which proves to be a lot for even the tag team friendship duo. Now, they are able to hold themselves on their own, but then Hercule tries some of his trademark moves, but unfortunately, the dynamite kick seems to be the only thing that threw General Black off. Other than that, he's not really doing much in the grand scheme of things, and this is just making him mad, and it's up to Goku to take care of him once and for all. And after that, the Red Ribbon Army and everybody else there is defeated pretty much like the same way, except with Hercule's help. But Hercule is more or less uh, bewildered, not like bewildered, but now he's having some deep thought. He's now realized that he can't just rely on combat maneuvers anymore. All of his trademark moves, except the dynamite kick, were useless. So, he finally realizes that he has to step out of his comfort zone and his shell. So, he talks to Goku about this, and decides to ask him if he can learn energy attacks. Specifically, Goku's trademark move, well, Master Roshi's, then Goku's, the Kamehameha Wave. Goku, after hearing this, would be um, amazed, proud, and surprised at the same time that Hercule would go to that length. He said that he wouldn't do this, but Hercule insists that this is what he wants. So, Goku agrees. So he teaches Hercule some maneuvers in the Kamehameha just before the fortune teller Baba arc in which Krillin fights Fangs the Vampire, actually doing better than he did originally. He's definitely able to hold his own against the Vampire a lot better. Even though he still gets his blood sucked, he's able to push him off while still being obviously dazed, forcing Fangs to go into bat mode. But Krillin's still able to defeat him, which means, even though it's a small change, Upa and Poir don't have to step in to help. And that means Krillin gets to go fight the Invisible Man. But unfortunately, due to his still blood loss and his exhaustion from fangs, Yamcha would have to be the one to step in to defeat the Invisible Man, which would kind of go the same way that it did originally, except with much better um, ease from Yamcha. Then Yamcha would go on to fight Bandages the Mummy, which would be almost an even fight, with Yamcha almost even winning against the Mummy, but still losing. Hercule would be the next one in line to fight, and with Bandages having fought Yamcha and almost losing, Hercule would almost defeat him right then and there, because Bandages would be low on stamina and he would be tired. Which means, Hercule would go on to fight Spike the Devil Man. Now, because of Hercule's teachings with the Kamehameha and the Devil Might Beam not having any effect because Hercule's not evil, Hercule would still win here. Devil Man would still pull out his pitchfork, and that would be a surprise, but with all of Hercule's trademark moves and even some teachings for the Kamehameha wave, Hercule would actually be able to win here, surprising everybody of how much he has grown. But, then we get to the fight of Grandpa Gohan, and he insists, well, unbeknownst to everyone that he's Grandpa Gohan, he insists that he fights Goku alone, with no interruptions. Hercule's hesitant at first, because this could be a plot to try and kill him, but he complies, and that fight goes the exact same way that it does originally. The Pilaf gang tries their attempt, afterwards, but they fail, obviously. And then we get into the 22nd World Martial Arts Tournament, in which, by this point, Hercule knows who Jackie Chun is, and this time, Hercule actually makes it past the preliminaries. Uh, That was kind of a tongue twister there, with two Ps. 
he actually gets past the preliminaries and gets into the tournament. And I think that this time, he might even get more acquainted with Miguel. And that's where we're going to be leaving things for right now. Now, the reason I say more acquainted with Miguel is because they met in the last tournament. Well, not really met. Hercule just laid his eyes on her, and he just... That was it. But they're definitely going to have some meeting later down the line. So I think Videl is still going to be born here, but I'm not going to give every little detail away. That would ruin the whole point of the what if. That's why I shorten the videos like this to make them, like, sensible to what a do Dragon Ball what if would be. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoy this part of what if Hercule was a Z fighter, and I hope you enjoy his adventures with Goku so far. Um, like and subscribe, and I will see you guys on the next part.